Welcome to the Champion Data Guide for the best race helmets of 2022. In this guide we compare the best racing helmets and we'll see which one comes out on top. We've once again sent our tester on its way and he has collected plenty of interesting data for us to get a fair picture of all these helmets, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Timo for Champion Helmets and welcome to our channel. Race helmets are designed with a lot of focus on safety, aerodynamics, ventilation and comfort. But if each one is meant to be the best, how do we know which one really is the best? To find out, we have tested many different racing helmets on the road with high quality measuring equipment. We have collected data from the 10 best helmets to give you a complete overview. Before we go deeper into specifications of all our helmets, a brief explanation on how we collect our data. On the left you see a white thermometer that shows the inside temperature in the helmet. It is connected to a sensor in the helmet. At the top center you can see the decibel meter, which is connected to a microphone placed near our rider's ear. This registers the noise as our rider hears it. On the right we see a telephone displaying the wind speed and the outside temperature. This is connected to a device that measures the wind speed mounted on our motorcycle. In the middle you see the dashboard with the speed of our rider. First up we will take a look at these helmets material. For this category we rank these helmets according to their outer shell material and how many shell sizes the helmets come in. This is an important part that is often overlooked because the amount of shell sizes contributes not only to comfort but also to safety. Starting with the Exo Air 1 Air Carbon, the helmet is composed of carbon and available in 3 outer shell sizes. This means that the Exo Air 1 Air Carbon earns itself a great 4 stars. In contrast to the Scorpion, the Bell Racer DLX also comes in with a carbon shell but has 5 outer shell sizes, which is exceptionally good and this earns it the full 5 stars. The Shui Xperia 3, AGC Alpha 1 and the Arai RX7 V Evo obtain a total of 4 star thanks to the fiberglass shell and 4 shell sizes. So, in terms of material, the Bell Race Star takes the lead, but we still have many categories to go, so let's quickly move on to the next part. Next up is the weight of the helmets. We weighed all of our helmets in the size medium on the same scale each time, and we ranked our helmets according to our matrix. The lighter the helmet, the more stars it earns. We have placed all of our helmets in a chart, giving us a clear overview. The most notable one is the Roof Aero 200 with a weight of 1104 grams which makes it the lightest racing helmet at this moment. Roof beats the most known racing brands by a serious margin. This was very interesting to see. Looking further, we see the newcomers. The Arai RX-7 EVO and the AGC RV1 are coming in just over 1500 grams, earning both helmets 4 stars. We then get the Bell Raystar DLX and the Shark Racer Pro in the middle with a weight between the 1500 and 1400 gram mark. But when we come to the Scorpion X R1 and Carbon, the x lite X803 RS and the Shui Xperia T, we get some fantastic results around the 1300 grams, earning themselves the full 5 star home weight. The heaviest helmet we came across was the Icon Airframe Pro with a weight of just under 1700 grams, which is really disappointing for a race helmet. Now that we have covered the weight and the material, we can move on to the next part, and that is the visor. We have come to the visor. Helmets can earn points on several different components. Examples are whether or not it's pin lock lens or tear off prepared and if these are included with the helmet. Also the visor mechanism is an important point and with an extra visor included they can also earn some extra points. So let's have a look at the results. The Scorpion Exo Air 1 Air and the Bell Racer DLX are both coming pin lock prepared with the insert in the box. In addition these two helmets include an extra dark smoke visor in the box which earns both helmets 4.5 stars. The Shui Xperia 3 scores an equal number of stars of 4.5 but owes it points mainly to the high quality visor mechanism which is very well constructed. But also for example the extra pin lock lens in the box. The Arfa 1, the x lite X803 RS and the RX7 EVO are also pin lock lens prepared and the lenses are included in the box. This earns them a nice 4 stars but with these three helmets you can see that the visor mechanism is just a little less refined than that of the Shui Xperia 3. Looking further, we see that the Icon Airframe Pro only gets one star for its visor. 
Here we saw a relatively simple visor mechanism. The helmet was not pinlock prepared and it actually lacked all kind of options that we did see on the other top helmets. Before we start with the road test, now might be a good time to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This will keep you up to date with all our reviews, road tests and guides. Ok, let's move on quickly. We now move on to noise isolation. A small note to make here is that race helmets are not necessarily designed to be quiet, especially on the track as most riders while riding on the track wear earplugs. But since these helmets are still mostly worn on the road, we obviously want to know how they perform on noise. Each helmet can score a certain amount of points depending on the number of decibels that we measured. All our helmets have been tested at a speed of 130 km an hour on long straights on the highway with a wind speed fluctuating between 110 and 130 km an hour. Based on this information, the average number of decibels for each helmet was calculated and we gave a star based on our matrix. First, we have the Shui Xperia 3 and the Bell Ray Star DLX with a value of 103 decibels. This is an average result for racing helmets which earns the Shui and Bell 3 stars. The Arfa 1 and the RX 7V Evo both came in at 100 decibels, which is a good result for a racing helmet earning themselves 4 stars. And by far the quietest helmet we have measured was the Scorpion Exo R1 Air Carbon with a value of 98 decibels, which is exceptionally quiet for a racing helmet. These are results you normally only see in touring helmets that are specifically built to be quiet. A difference of 2 decibels may seem like nothing, but this is a very noticeable audible difference. So with that in mind, we can say that Scorpion did a great job. Another very striking helmet was the AGV Pista GPRR. The Pista came in with a value of 107 decibel, which is extremely noisy. This explains why the helmet is included with earplugs. In fact, this was the only helmet, according to our test rider, you simply could not wear without earplugs. The helmet is extremely loud despite its streamlined design, which is a bit of a setback in this price segment. We understand that a racing helmet is not supposed to be super quiet, but a score of 107 decibels is really disappointing. On the noisy helmets were the X-Lite X8103 RS, the Race R Pro and again the Icon Airframe. So we get a better impression of how the helmets compare to each other and now we can quickly move on. Now onto a very important part for racing helmets, the ventilation. Especially for racing helmets it is interesting to see which one actually performs best. We ranked our helmets based on the difference between the inside and outside temperature. As this gives us a good idea of how the ventilation is doing its job. If we look at our chart, we can see that for the vast majority of helmets we measured a little or no difference between the inside and outside temperature. The only two helmets that were 1 degree cooler on the inside than the outside temperature were the Bell Racer DLX and the Icon Airframe Pro. And this earns both helmets an outstanding 5 stars. This is very impressive when you consider that the Icon Airframe Pro has been very disappointing so far, so Icon did a neat job on ventilation. Of all the helmets we tested, you can see how important ventilation is in racing helmets. Almost all manufacturers did this exceptionally well, especially when you compare these helmets to more mid-range helmets, where you can rarely see these kind of results. The helmets that stood out negatively were the X-Lite X8100 3RS Ultra Carbon and the Roof RO200. These helmets were on the inside 3 degrees warmer than the outside temperature and that earned both helmets a disappointing score of 2 stars. The difference between these helmets was very intriguing to see. So much for ventilation. Finished with the noise isolation and ventilation, we move on to comfort and the extra options these helmets has to offer. Comfort is the only part in our data test where we look at more than just the hard numbers. For this part we lean on our test riders experience. Our rider has over 15 years of riding experience and he's also the one who tested all the helmets we have mentioned so far. So he can make a good comparison of the helmets like no other. Although we call this criteria comfort, we pay attention to much more than just the comfort. For each helmet our riders evaluate different components such as the quality of the lining, binding materials, wind resistance, how the helmet behaves on the road, the bulkiness and much more. We see that many of the top helmets, including our newcomers, the Arai RX-7 EVO and the Arfa-1 achieved a score of 4 stars, which is a great result. Of course, you would expect this, because we are talking about the very best racing helmets available today. 
Awarde gave the Shui Xperia 3 the highest possible score for comfort. He mentioned that the extra soft material is placed near the ear for an extra great feeling while riding. This extra soft material is an example of Shui's eye for detail, but above all how the helmet feels at higher speed was a feelable difference. This is a direct result of the extensive research and development using a wind tunnel that Shui uses for its top helmets. The AGV Pisa GPRR was also mentioned as an ideal track helmet thanks to its aerodynamics, excellent ventilation and customizable lining. The Scorpion Exo Air 1 Air Carbon scored excellent on almost every part so far, but scored less well for comfort with only 3 stars. Our rider found the lining to feel a bit cheap, was noticeable less comfortable and of the lower quality materials than the other top helmets. This was somewhat disappointing from Scorpion. The other helmets that were disappointing were the roof and the icon which we see at the bottom of the list more commonly. Now let's see what x ready helmets come with and here we look at the features that riders have asked us about the most. In the overview you can see which options are rewarded and how many points they can earn with them. This can be communication system options, wind tunnel tested, FIM certification, quick release, additional security options and much more. So let's have a look at the results for features. At the very bottom we unfortunately find the icon again, which offered barely no additional options. Not far above the icon we see the shark, scorpion and the roof. Again these helmets had very basic features, they lacked on features you do see on other top models. Then we have the Xperia 3 and the Raystar DLX, which scored 3 stars. Both these helmets have a quick release and are internal tested. The three helmets that scored very strongly on this part are our newcomers, the Arfa 1 and the RX 7V Evo, but also the AGV Pista GPRR. These helmets were wind tunnel tested, had quick release and are FIM certified, so they pretty much ticked all the options that the majority of our customers asked for. On the other hand, the helmet that scored surprisingly weak was the Scorpion Exo Air 1 Air Carbon which is not wind tunnel tested, is not FIM certified, had no security options and unfortunately also was poorly equipped in the liner. This sadly offsets its strong scores that we saw earlier. So we see some interesting diverse results in this area. Looking at each helmet's performance by all categories together, we get a better idea of how each one compares. What stands out is that the Xperia 3, Raystar DLX, Eric 7V Evo and the Arfa 1 are very alright helmets and have very strong performances across the board. The Scorpion Exo Air 1 Air Crawler was strong on almost every measurable part and performed a little bit worse on comfort and the features. The AGV Pista GPRR had a particularly weak performance on the noise isolation and the visor wasn't exactly super either. In this overview we can already see that the Icon Airframe Pro and the Roof RO200 are no longer competing for the title of best race helmet of 2022. There are too many parts where they just came up short to compete with the absolute best. But we are not finished yet. With these results we get a good picture of their performance, but there is one more important aspect that is missing and that is the price. Despite helmets scoring well, price is an important factor in the overall score. Because if two helmets perform exactly the same, but one of them has a lower price, it will score better in the end. This is where we calculate the price per run star, allowing us to find out which helmet performs best on price quality. Based on that price quality, they earn stars for the final part. We then use the price quality scores in our ranking to assign these helmets additional points that will be factored in our final results. This also is influenced by the amount of helmets we compare. This score gives us a much better idea of how these helmets compare and how effectively their price correlates with their performance. So let's have a look. At the very top we see the Shui Xperia 3 with the highest price quality bonus of 4.3 stars. The helmet from Shui has a recommended retail price of 790 euros and an average of 4.1 stars. The Xperia 3 is followed by the Bell Racer DLX with also an average of 4.1 stars and has a recommended price of 750 euros, which gives it 3.8 stars for price quality. These two helmets have the exact same score, where the price was the deciding factor in Shuik's favor. Another striking result was the AGV Pista GPRR, which scored a nice 3.6 stars on average, but with its extreme high price of 1300 euros, the helmet is actually overpriced for what it really offers. For the price, it does get left behind a bit on this part. This earned the Pista only 0.9 stars for price quality. 
The lowest price helmet we tested for this segment is a Scorpion Exo Air One Air Carbon. This helmet has a recommended retail price of 469 euros with an average star rating of 3.9. This means that the price per star is 70 euros and gives it a bonus of 2.9 stars. So you can see that the quality does not have to be far apart, but there can be a huge difference in the price you pay, as long as you keep that in mind when you're buying a new helmet. So, with all our data taken care of and factored in, it is time to look at the final score to see which helmet comes out on top. Now that we have calculated our final scores with our price, we can announce the winner. But to keep it interesting, we will start at the bottom and on the 10th place we have the Roof RO200 with a final score of 6.5. However, this helmet has taken the title of the lightest helm which is quite impressive. On the 9th place we have the Icon Airframe Pro with also a final score of 6.5, but it had a slightly better average score than the Roof. In 8th place we see the Shark Race Pro GP with a final score of 6.9. The Shark did well on weight, ventilation and comfort, but has a hefty price tag of 949 euros and scored weekly on noise and features. In 7th place we have the X-Lite X803 RS Ultra Carbon. This helmet was strong on weight, material, visor and comfort, but scored very weak on noise and ventilation. Then only in the 6th place and at an unexpected helmet and that is the AGV Pista GPRR. This helmet is often praised and perhaps also because Rossi wrote it, but if you look purely at the results the 6th place is rather disappointing. Especially if you consider that this was by far the most expensive helmet on the list. The helmet got a nice score of 7.4 and did well on material, weight, comfort, ventilation and features, but in contrast it scored poor on the visor and even dramatically on noise. Combined with the price, this helmet unfortunately fell outside the top 5. We have arrived at our top 5 for today and I can already tell you that it is very close. In 5th place we see the Scorpion Exo Air One Air Carbon. This helmet scored very well on material, weight, visor and noise isolation, but left quite a bit on comfort and features. Despite missing some points on those parts, it has a very good price quality, pushing the AGV PCI GPRR from the top 5. The Exo Air One Air Carbon has a final score of 8.1. Then in 4th place we encounter our first newcomer, the Arai RX7V EVO. Without exception, this helmet scored strongly on all components. This helmet is extremely consistent and all round compared to the helmets we have mentioned so far. The newcomer from Arai can therefore note an excellent score of 8.2. We have come to the three very best helmets and on the third place ended the other newcomer, the AGC Arfa 1. Like the RX 7V EVO, the Arfa 1 scores 4 stars on every part which makes it a very consistent and all round helmet. But the Arfa 1 has a better price and thus scored more points on price quality. This made it possible for the Arfa 1 to end up in the top 3 with an excellent final score of 8.4. We have come to the burning question, which helmet is the best racing helmet for 2022? The Bell DLX or the Shoe Xperia 3? On the second place we have the Bell Racer DLX with a final score of 8.6, which means that the Shoe Xperia 3 is at the very top with also an average score of 8.6 and may call itself the best performing race helmet of 2022 thanks to a better price. Looking at all the data we have collected, we can say that the Shoei Xperia 3 and the Bell Raystar DLX performed equally, but the difference is made by a not too big price difference. So, this was it. We have collected numerous data, added it up and processed it into clear graphs. This allows us to state, based on our criteria, that the Shoei Xperia 3 is still the very best helmet in the market, but the difference is extremely small compared to its competitors. What is particularly interesting to see is that different helmets perform strongly or not at all on very specific parts. The purpose of our data is to make the difference between these helmets more visible and the primary goal of this video is to present honest objective facts that will help you in your buy process. We are all especially interested in satisfied customers who buy a helmet that suits their personal preferences. And this is shown by in the six play for the most expensive helmet. Hopefully we helped you to choose a helmet more easily from all these top helmets. Do you think one of these top race helmets is something for you? Or would you like to get more information? Then be sure to take a look at our webshop www.championhelmets.com where we offer the lowest price guarantees and have nice discount bundles. 
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask them. Thank you for watching. My name is Simon from Champion Helmets and hopefully until next time.